people are glued to your channel to wait for you to make a mistake so that they can run with it. Welcome back to my channel, Bimi Badmos here. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, you're so welcome. If you are a regular, how are you doing? And thank you guys for sticking around and watching all the videos and content I've been posting this month of September. You guys know I'm posting videos every weekday in this month of September because I'm just showing gratitude and I just feel like doing it. A couple of days was my birthday and I was just so thankful to you guys for all the love, all the messages, all the outpouring of everything, gifts, everything that you guys shared and showered on me on my birthday. I am so thankful and I do not take it for granted in any way possible. Jumping right in quickly into today's video and it is a highly requested video. It's been requested for so long by so many people yes so many this is not even one of those cloud chasing phrases it's actually been requested for a long time and i shy away from it um i feel like i don't like talking about this part of my content creation journey and so it's basically people asking me uh, to make videos on how to grow on youtube how to um get more followers on instagram how to be a con how to grow as a content creator i shy away from it not because i'm trying to get keep or anything but because um i just i don't know if it's imposter syndrome um but i just feel like i'm not qualified enough to talk about things like this and i feel like I feel like, for example, on YouTube, I feel like if you are maybe like if you have like 50,000 subscribers, that's when you should be talking to me about how to gain followers or whatever. Um, or if you're on Instagram and you have like, you know, 100,000, 50,000 followers, that's when you should be talking to me about how to grow on Instagram and stuff like that. But I don't know. You guys keep asking me. And um, I'm just in fact, last night I still got another message which prompted me to say, you know what, today I will talk about it. And I'm not even going to talk about it in, you know, I'm giving you points and let's, let's just we're going to gist about it. It's not, I'm not, that's why I'm here. I'm not, it's not a formal video. I'm just chilling and I'm just gisting with you guys on this journey and things that I've learned and things that I think you can learn from. So yeah, if you're interested in content creation, growing on YouTube, growing on Instagram, all that stuff, and you want to hear what I have to say about it, just keep watching. Also bear in mind that I have about 10,000 followers, 10,000 plus followers on Instagram. I have about 14,000 plus followers on YouTube. And I think I have about almost 3,000 followers on TikTok. So just bear that in mind as you listen to what I have to say, if you're interested. So let me just start by saying that I have been creating content for about six years now. Um, I've been creating, I think I posted my first video on YouTube sometime in 2017, 2018. So about six, five, about five or six years now, Shada, I've been creating content. And I, I've always watched YouTube when I was in school. I know my friends even used to encourage me to um, post on YouTube and things like that. And cause I just liked it. I liked, I liked lifestyle. Like I wasn't, you know, I tried to do my hair myself I, I could do my hair myself um and i learned all that on youtube um i could make wigs i learned that on youtube i dabbled into makeup i'm not like the best um when it comes to makeup i'm not even anywhere close so i knew that like my niche had to be something about lifestyle i just enjoyed watching people you know travel and just show off like what they're doing like what they're cooking what they're up to at home so i knew that if i was to get into youtube that is what i would get into pretty much just sharing like my life journey and life experiences with people um because even outside of youtube that's pretty much what i do like i literally have people that even my parents will say, oh, let me give you Bimi's number so they can talk to your child or so they can talk to your daughter or son and advise the person or just share our own life experiences with, with them. Because I honestly, I've been through a lot in my life. <laughs> so that's why I started creating content. Um, I remember I just moved back to Nigeria at the time. So I was just creating content on like, you know, navigating Nigeria as in, you know, returnee. So, you know, I had to go for NYSC, things like that. Looking at fun places to see in Lagos. If you go and look at my old videos, those are the things you will see. Fun places to see in Lagos. Think fun things to do. My job search, how I got scammed, you know, for get, um, trying to look for jobs. Things like that. 
that and then gradually gradually yeah you know i started infusing like relationship content because i started you know dating and things like that and then i got married and then i started talking about like marriage marriage things relationship things and then i got pregnant and i had a child and i started talking about parenting and you know basically like my life just evolved like that however when i started it wasn't for me to make money to be honest with you it wasn't for me to make money i just liked seeing what other people were doing and i liked it too um i also knew that i was going to have limits because of the kind of um, upbringing i have the kind of parents i have what my parents do who they are in the society so i knew that um there were i was going to have a lot of limitations and restrictions on things that i could share on here um so that that's why like the goal for me was not to make money i, I always tell people sometimes like I, if i want to blow 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 i know the things to do but it doesn't sit right with me it doesn't holy spirit does not it's not it's not aligning with my values and the way i was brought up and things like that so um i just started sharing what i could share and then um i remember when i was almost about to get monetized youtube came up with another policy of monetization and i got demonetized or and or i couldn't be monetized and um from there you know things just started happening um i remember that when i started creating content my first couple of followers were my colleagues at work then i made sure everybody signed into my you know into their youtube pages and you know followed me and they were always like commenting and liking and things like that and then as it evolved when i started dating my husband he also now started sharing it with people and that's how i started getting like my own followers and things like that i remember when i got my first hundred followers it was a big deal to me like you couldn't tell me nothing um and that just you know went on and on and then people then started discovering me by my by themselves through different things like when i shared my pcos journey when i had my baby and things like that so um that's pretty much what the journey has been like for me now i feel like it, me personally i feel like since i've been on youtube creating content for the last six years i think i should have grown more than this that's just my own personal opinion I think that I should have blown more than this, but I know the reason why I may not also have blown more than this. And, I'm, and I want to share it with you guys so that you can also pick from it and see if it is something that you are not also doing. Now, let's just get something straight. If you are not a celebrity, you cannot blow overnight on YouTube. Let's just, let's just put that out there first for you to know. You cannot just blow overnight on you, especially YouTube. YouTube is actually one of the hardest social media, um, whatever, for you to grow on. It's, I, I, I do it so I know. Like the same, I started taking content creation seriously for Instagram, I think about two, three years ago. And I'm already at 10,000 followers, thanks to Reels, thanks to things like that. TikTok, in fact, people blow overnight. TikTok is another. You can wake up tomorrow morning and just see that a video of yours that you just randomly posted has like 100,000, 200,000 views. And all of a sudden, your followers, your following has skyrocketed to about 10,000 you know, followers. That's TikTok. That's, that's, that's the way that place works. You can blow quickly there. But YouTube is so hard because a lot of people watch they watch your videos um they're searching is a search is a search engine they search for things they watch your videos I, I just if i google or if i search on youtube how to make i don't know native soup that's my favorite soup by the way i would see so many i just click on it i watch it and i leave it's not a lot of times that i actually now subscribe maybe it is after seeing two three four five times of that person's video is when i would say oh let me even take a liking and you know subscribe to the person's channel and that's why youtubers we always sound like a broken record right when we uh, we start our videos with please subscribe or we end our videos with please subscribe to my channel because we know that people watch we are also watchers i watch it i watch people and i don't subscribe to their channel too it happens we are humans that's just the reality of things so if you are not like a celebrity or your parents are not like you know celebrities or popular or politicians or things like that you are not going to blow overnight if you're just a regular regular person like me that just you know you just have a niche you have content you want to showcase to the world it's going to take time for you to actually get out there especially when you don't even have any type of controversy like you're not you're not a controversial person you're not talking about um celebrity gossip oh you let do this that one that this one this you're not because because ex what exactly are you 
talking to people about like why should people take an interest in you to actually subscribe to you and actually you know view your your channel that's me being factual with you people it's the reality of things i told you people it's just we're going to just here so i'm not mincing words with things if you are not like a controversial person you're not a celebrity gossip person or storyteller or whatever you are not going to get that much following and the earlier you can accept that the better i have accepted it um the better for you you also need to know that whatever niche that you're in also determines if you will get views or if you will get subscribers or not i am being honest with you people your niche also determines it's not every niche that will blow we in lifestyle we don't blow like that. And when I say lifestyle, I mean like vlogging, like daily vloggers or weekly vloggers, just showcasing your life. Or oh, once, once you come and talk about some of the struggles that you're going through, like this sit down video that I'm talking about. Yes, we know today blow like that. Uh -huh. Except if you impute something called consistency, which I, which I will still talk about. But if you're in the lifestyle space, you cannot blow like that too. Let's just be very honest that's that aside now you you didn't ask me so baby what exactly will make me grow on youtube let me tell you the niches that people watch very well and will make you grow faster number one money is it money advice people i will call them you know all those people i'll say make hundred hundred dollars in one day in one sitting oh just with your phone you make money like this those people blow they are they are big now like because since covid happened right everybody is just looking for different streams of in income so if you come you go and look at it go and look at like youtubers and people that you know sat down and talked about like oh um do this side also do that side also the videos actually do very well now there are people that their channels are dedicated to it i have some of them at the, at the top of my head those people actually talk talk all that's all their channel is about so they talk about oh um this job is guaranteed to get you hundred dollars this job is guaranteed to get you five hundred dollars something like that and then you watch it and then sometimes i watch it and i say that the people don't even know what they are talking about but hey you've already clicked on it because they are teaching you how to make money so all these making money videos or niches that's where you should sit down if you know that you want to grow fast but you have to know what you're talking about and you too you have to um be using those things that you are teaching people that they should use uh -huh. because i've realized that a lot of people sometimes don't even know what they are talking about and then they make videos and me personally if i if i enter your channel today and i watch this video and i see that you don't know what you're talking about i'm never going i've already even marked you in my head i'm never going to come back to your channel so also the second set of people that would blow fast in this nigerian youtube space is tech guys you know the guys that review phones review laptops all those things like for example now iphone 15 is out i'm sure in the next one in fact I'm, by as i yesterday they were already i was already seeing videos of you know iphone 15 reviews and things like that from these guys so if you're in that space too it's something that you can grow fast and things like that and i also realized that a lot of the tech guys also dabble into finance too so that first um niche that i talked about so tech and finance they kind of go hand in hand and things like that so those are the guys that you know quickly 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 they blow so another set of people that definitely will blow fast are the cooking people so you know you know your cooking channels um you're creating one recipe or the other in my head i always think like how many jollof rice recipes can there be like you know how many um native soup recipes can it can you have but listen they keep churning out content they keep they keep being creative they keep you know revamping and things like that and those guys are actually doing it and making it big um and growing fast another set of people that will grow fast are the fitness people so the people that come and teach you do this workout don't do this workout oh you know you need a 30 minutes walk you do need a 20 minutes walk you know but those people i realize that a lot of people don't subscribe they just me personally i just watch i don't subscribe like that but people still do because at the end of the day some people just want to keep them close to them people do um so those guys to grow fast now like i said earlier coming down to we lifestyle people you people that are just maybe you're just traveling or you're just um just showing your life in your house with your child your parenting and things like that it will take a miracle it will take something huge something explosive maybe like a very um a very catchy title or a very catchy um thumbnail or something before people would actually sit down and say they want to watch your video because the reality of things is that if i like if i put, post post a video now and i title it weekend vlog why should anybody watch my weekend vlog they don't know me from anywhere so even if it shows up on their watch space or watch page why should they why should they sign up to it why should they click on it they don't know me from anywhere so vlogs like that is mostly the people that know me 
eh, that will say they want to watch it or people that subscribe to my channel. Um, and which is the, the dilemma that I've always had, like, how do I attract other people from outside that don't know me personally to come and watch my videos? Consistency plays a huge role. I have not been consistent. It's, I'm not sugarcoating things. I think this year, has been my best year when it comes to consistency. This year has been my best year. All the other four or five years that I've spent in this content creation journey, I've not been as consistent as this, as this year. And when I talk about consistency, I mean, you need to be churning out videos, at least four videos in a week. And even this year, I don't, it's just this month, I started saying I wanted to do that, right? This is the ninth month of the year. I, imagine I've been doing that since January. I know I would have been, better or grown past where I am right now. So when you find yourself in that niche, in that, in that space, you need to be consistent. Like, you, I, I probably sound like a broken record to you right now. I say, Oh my God, everybody's always talking about consistency, but that's the truth. As a lifestyle content creator, that's the only thing that would attract other people to your channel. And I'm also talking to myself. When people keep seeing your videos in their watch page, they will want to click at one point in time to watch your video. I always tell people that, man, I feel like if I can just get people to my, my channel to watch me, I think they will stay. I think they will stay because I know I have quality content. But it's just getting them, that act of getting them to actually come, that's where the problem lies. And the best thing to do at that point in time is to get catchy thumbnails, catchy titles. And honestly, I will tell you that is where me, I lack. That is where my lack is. I don't know how to twist titles in such a way that, you know, it would look like what is in the video, but it's not actually in the video. I don't know how to do it. If somebody can help me title my videos, I feel like I would do so well. Thumbnails too, I don't know how to do those. Ah, who, hey, he, ha, that's when you see it, you say, okay, let me click. I don't know how to do it. And I know that that is my weakness and why I've not grown. So why am I saying all of this that I'm saying in essence, it's just to tell you that you can know where um, your own faults lie and you can know where you need to do better. So I'm talking about, is it your titles? You need to be able to reward your titles. I have said it, I don't know how to do titles and I think that's what's affecting me. Thumbnail, I'm not good at it. I don't know. I'm not artistic. I don't know what will appeal to people. And I know that those are the things that are injuring me. Consistency is another thing. If I am as consistent as I have been this month of September, I know I would have seen tremendous growth in my channel. So think about it. What are you doing that, you know, might be injuring you? Look at all these things that I've talked about. Is it your niche? You need to get out of that niche that you are in. But you remember that if you get out of that niche and you're going to another niche, it has to be something that you are very good at. Not that when people come today, they would not get value for why they are there and they will not even stick around. And next time they see your name, they already have a mental note that this person doesn't know what they are talking about. So they will not come back again. And these tips also go for like your Instagram and your TikTok also. TikTok, like I said, I don't honestly don't know what's going on over there. You can just do something today and you just blow. Instagram too, if you're consistent, if you are consistent, I have been consistent with Instagram this year and I've been seeing tremendous growth. Just keep churning out content. You look at the likes of CCME, you look at the likes of big YouTubers, you know, um, even the tech guys they keep churning out content they keep posting out posting content cc keeps posting like three four videos a week on youtube as big as she is as blown as she is look at delicious foods look at all those people that is why they keep getting big it's not everybody that is going to be a celebrity type of um person to post there are certain celebrities i don't want to name names now they may not post on youtube for a month two months the day they post a video it will to be big because they have a cult following you don't have a cult, cult following you're a regular regular person so you have to work hard at it so your analytics on youtube tells you so much that you need to know about growing your channel i look at my analytics and i see that i see that it's my vlogs and i'm like okay you know what let me just continue creating and putting out vlogs for you guys but at the same time my vlogs is people that actually know you know you that will you know, watch your vlogs, um, except there is like something catchy in the thumbnail or the title that makes somebody that does not know you want to stick around to watch a vlog. I feel like the reason why I'm also very um, laid back, I, I don't want to say laid back, I work hard. I work so hard on my YouTube, on my Instagram. I work very hard with the content that I create. But I think that the reason why um, I also um, leave it as it is, is because 
Um, I also have a nine to five job. So sometimes I just tell myself that bad as a bad, I will collect salary at the end of the month. Do you understand? But then if you think of the people that this is their full time job, this is what they do. They know that if they don't churn out content, right, they will not get salary at the end of the month. They know that they have to do whatever they can do so that they can be able to get some you know, paycheck at the end of the month. So they see it as a full-time job. I also see it as a full-time job. I see it as I'm working two jobs. Right now, I'm filming this video this morning. I am heading to work after I film this video. And I think that the last couple of years, um, I've been, I was laid back about it because in my mind, I also have a nine-to-five job. So that's why. But I think this year, I've been juggling both. It's been hard. It's been extremely hard. I will not lie to you. But I tell myself that I want to get to a point where I can do without my nine-to-five job and, you know, like say that my family is or i am totally dependent on you know my content creation gig like the money that i make from brand deals and things like that this is me just telling you that you also have to take this as a serious business so if you're taking it as a serious business don't just film anyhow don't just do anyhow don't just not clean your camera lens when you're filming don't make the video not be shaky you know like you know things like if it's a job you know i see like um foreigners like white people when i watch their vlogs like stay at home moms they wake up in the morning they take care of the kids they do everything they want to do they go and sit they have a desk at home they sit down they work like it's an actual work so if you're taking it as work then maybe your mindset will change about the kind of content that you create and the kind of kind of content that you put out there another thing you people need to know there are people that are piggybacking on others it's, it's not a bad thing no it's not a bad thing like imagine me now as i am like this now imagine my sister wants to start a youtube channel for example if just me just saying my sister has a youtube channel or i'm even going for my husband let me say my husband has started a sports channel for example and i come and tell you guys you people won't tell me that you will not run there or even if i start if, if i start a second channel now and i say my husband and i are running a second channel are you telling me that you will not run there you will run there because obviously you already know me and you like what you see so you're going to run there so there are people that you know they are lucky to have people to piggyback on um like i said it's not a bad thing at all especially because those people besides them piggybacking they are also being consistent and creating quality content that people like no matter how much you piggyback of people when people go to your channel and they say ah this is baby's sister or this is baby's husband okay and then they watch the video and they don't like it they're not going to come back now you understand uh -huh. so but then they go back and then they say oh, okay this is really nice they're going to stay there and things like that also people like gist let's just put it out there people like gist so if i tell you that my husband created a channel now people want to go and hear what my husband wants to talk about maybe he wants to air my dirty laundry maybe he wants to air my dirty linen things like that people like gist and people are always looking for people's downfall so especially we in the lifestyle space so people are glued to your channel to wait for you to make a mistake so that they can run with it that's another thing you need to know so you know sometimes one time I, I was telling somebody i said ah, why can't i why can't something why can't i have negative press because that's another thing if you have negative press good or bad publicity you will still get publicity so whether you are known for something bad or not if somebody fights with me now or if i leave a comment on somebody's youtube page and you know it becomes a full-blown thing and people start dragging me trust me people will run to my channel to watch my videos or people will say they want to know who this kind of person is and they will subscribe and they will stay and viewership will increase so that's another thing some people have had bad press and that just also helped them grow in one way or the other so you need to keep all these things in mind and stop looking at those people and just focus on what you are supposed to be doing so look at yourself look at your own channel and make sure that you adjust accordingly and also just know that it's going to take a long time to grow if you are not in any of those categories that i have said it's going to take a long time to grow that's the kind of nigeria that we are and that's the kind of um uh, space youtube is it's saturated whether people like to say oh there's this space there's space the sky is clinical is it there is saturated my long run of doing this thing has actually paid off in a way the brand deals i'm getting i'm not even getting them for youtube that's the funniest thing is instagram the instagram i started taking seriously just oh, two years ago was is what is now getting me that so if you feel like youtube is not doing it for you you keep creating your once in a while content for youtube or if if that's if you don't want to focus on it and focus on instagram let me tell you something a lot of the brand deals that people get are from their instagram pages and even facebook in fact facebook don't even get don't even get me started in that one because that one i don't even understand what's going on in that place i'm trying to understand it but i can't seem to understand it but that's where a lot of brand deals people get huge brand deals from facebook instagram work on your instagram page build your instagram following and maybe when you build it people will be able to follow you to your youtube you just never know i've talked so much in this video i've just said so much i've talked about so many things but 
let me just let me just stop here. I know I didn't talk about brand deals because this video will be too long. If I start talking about brand deals and how to get brand deals, I would make a second part of this video. All right, so that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This video has been so chaotic. If people don't even understand what has been going on behind the scenes of this video, editing is going to be high. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think about all of this. Um, if you agree, if you don't agree, let me know. If you also think that there are other things besides what I mentioned, besides what I mentioned, that can help me as a YouTuber grow, please let me know and leave it in the comment section down below. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.